Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. How are you? Yeah, I am fine. How about you? Very good. Very good. Okay, so actually there is I no electricity. Is okay in Delhi. I, I saw yeah. there were some issues. Okay, no problem. We can get the live temperature support for any issues from our institution. Okay, so no problem. We can easily get this any support or any regarding issue. We can easily get that support. Okay, so now one by one, just you can simply ask me your problem, then I will try to solve it. Yeah, please. Yes, uh, the only problem I have is uh, I noticed a uh, uh, Landsat collection one has yeah. been removed from Google Earth engine as of uh, as of late July. So yeah. Landsat collection one is no longer working. Now we were required to update our codes to collection two. Okay. Because the codes that we have are based on collection one. Uh, I had no challenges to get those updated to get the scripts to work again. Okay, okay. So I understand about that. So you can simply share the previous code or you can write any code. Then I will show you that how we can really update this your uh, collection and then use it. Where do I where where do I write that so that you can see it? Uh, click on the present now button here. You can see about the present now, and further you can simply click on the entire screen, and then select the entire screen and then share. Click the share button, then it will be shared. Yeah. Okay, I will do it just now. Uh, just one minute. Okay, okay. Just trying to find the, the code that was failing. So all of Lancet collection one is now removed for Martin Jean data catalog. Basically now Lancet collection two is the available and it is the more pre-processing effort than Lancet collection one. Okay. So that's why you also get that more better yeah, result yeah, 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 when you use yeah. the collection two. So, 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 so basically all the codes that we had Yes. Which were based on collection one are no longer working. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the yeah. Okay, I also notice about that. Okay, so first time you can just ask me. Okay, so further yeah, we also try to use the collection what, too. Because what I, what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying, if you have already like a code. Yeah. Based on collection two, particularly for NDVI and and NDWI. Yeah, yeah. If you share those with me, I will be okay. Okay, no problem. I will I will uh, teach you now how we can easily updating. So part that we can easily update. Actually, at also we also need to rescaling. Basically, in the collection to also add some uh, scale and also add some offset. Okay, so this type of now, uh, do, collection two in to use. Do you not have already a code? Okay, okay. I will show you that. that. Is... Let me share my screen. Then I will show you that how we can easily use the collection two satellite imagery. And then make the NDVI and NDWI. Okay, then you can easily use it. Okay, that, okay. that would, yes, that that would be very easy. If I when I have the code, yeah. then I'm good to go. Okay, okay. So let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. So basically, collection two, all of data set we can easily access from the our data catalog base from Google Earth Engine data catalog base. So here you can see about that land set. Just click on here. Uh, 
And as you can see about that, it's running. Yeah. So let's set here. You can see. And I can see this already provided about the land set collection one is the pre collection yes. and will be removed from the art engine data catalog. Okay. So for that, we are not use the collection one. So that's why in this time we have to use the collection two. So basically now just click on here. So here you can see about that all of data. So basically this data is for collection two and we can easily yes. use it. So here you can see about the data. Suppose I want to work for this surface tip and click on here. And this data set is available from year of 2024 uh, 0805. Okay, we can yes. easily get it. And you can see about that uh, it's that uh, C02 means that uh, collection 2. Okay, C02 means the collection 2. So this is the data set and this is the surface reflectance data set. In this data set, we find out this type of you can see uh, a scale value and also offset value. Okay. So now yes. this type of scale and offset will when you use, then we can get the more um, better pixel or more better imagery. So first of all, just simply copy this snippet from here. Simply copy and then paste on your uh, code editor and then give a very well name. So I put the name is that uh, data set and equal. So now further, suppose I want to need for the image for a specific boundary, region of interest. Suppose I need this data for one city. Suppose I need the data set for Dhaka city. Just simply import the Dhaka city boundary or which area you want to need, simply import your boundary. So now no, these no things we are just simply filtering. I put the name suppose as a ROI. You can bring name as a variable. Then further we are simply filtering. Suppose just put here that uh, first of all filter bounds function. I put it uh, ROI and then put here the filter dead function. Suppose I need the data for year of 2024. Uh, suppose for January from year of 2024. Suppose uh, zero uh, five. Suppose thirty. No, wait, wait, wait. While you are there, are you saying collection two is not available for for early years like 2015? Yes, it's also available. We can get it from year of 2013 to. 2024 okay. 0805 okay, it's available no problem we can get the data from okay, this thanks. Yeah. Okay, thanks. so i can choose this randomly this time and further i want to just simply uh, uh put the filter metadata for filtering the ms properties suppose just i put at the cloud cover you can see about the ms properties from here so i just filter metadata using the cloud cover so simply copy the cloud cover and then further paste here cloud cover and then use that that uh, less than and put here that one okay so now this is my image suppose i need to check how many images is available for that so data set that use at that size function so now it's computing how many images are available for my yes. study area but we can find out only for the two images okay so this yeah, two images yes. yeah this less than one person cloud code is the two images that available so now further suppose i want to uh using these two images i make the median composite okay Suppose just use at the median function that it create the median composite and I want to just clip with my study area which is ROI. Okay. So now we display this imagery. So just put here a map dot add layer and put here that data set and then also uh, center view of my given boundary. So use at map dot center object as a ROI. So now click to run. So it also visualize. But this image I got, but this image is not reprojected their pixel value. So for how I can reproject this pixel value, this images. So for that, I can simply use this uh, scale value, simply copy because you can see all of bands are the same scale. Okay, same scale and same. Oh, yes, offset. yes, I see, okay? I see. So just I simply uh, multiply this scale value, just put here that uh, multiply this is scale value and finally add with offset value a scale and offsets are all of bands are the same so i simply copy yes and then paste here so now further run the code again so now you can get the proper uh, spectral signature range so just I simply click on here and now i simply said that suppose uh, uh red uh green and blue band combination natural color further stressing 98% and further apply 
and also import these things. So now here you can see we can get this imagery. Basically, this is our yes. collection to satellite imagery. Okay. And basically, basically now collection one is not available. So that's why all of data we need to uh, use the collection two in Google Earth Engine. Okay, and all yes. of analysis. So now further, uh, I simply copy this variable name, visualization variable name, and paste after the object name. And now I want to make the NDVI. Suppose I want to make the NDVI map for my study area. So same as like previous process, just take a variable, suppose NDVI, and I call my data set, and then just use a function, normalize difference between the two band. One band is that SRB5, near infrared band, SRB4, red band. So now further I display this result, map.add layer, and call this NDVI, you can run. So now it shows the grayscale color of NDVI map. Further, we also add this color map. Suppose how I can add the color. So basically, you can simply add the color from here, or just also write the card code in here. Suppose just make a curly bracket. I put the mean value. Suppose mean NDVI value negative one, and max NDVI value suppose positive one. And further, put the color plated. I just make a list of all of color plated. Suppose low or negative pixel show as a blue color. Greater than blue, I want to show suppose white color and positive uh, pixel is indicating about the vegetation. I want to show as the green color. Then click run. So now this color will be set in my map and we can get that in proper NDVI map. So here you can see we can get this type of NDVI map from collection to satellite imagery. So it looks like that we can get it. So this vegetation. Or if you want also put the stressing, then you also get that uh, more better result. Suppose I just stressing this data 98% or 90%, then simply apply. So now we can get that this type of green color and if about the vegetation area, we can easily get it. Okay, suppose now you want to make the NDWI. So just in the same process, you can also apply. Suppose just take a variable NDWI and call your image. Basically, it's a data set, it is stored the imagery, medium composite of collection to satellite imagery between this time period. I just call the data set and then use it that uh, normalized difference between the two band. Mainly this is the short wave infrared one band, which are SRB6 and uh, green band, SRB3. Okay, short wave infrared band and green band. Then we can easily find out that water just i simply m dot add layer of ndwi so now it also uh, add this map we can get the grayscale ndwi map but that if you want you also add the color okay so now here you can get this type of is the water body so i want to add the color suppose uh i pick the mean suppose i put the mean as a negative one and then max suppose positive one and put the plated so basically negative pixel indicating there is no water body i want to show as a red color and get it then i want to show suppose as a uh, white color and get it then where is the uh, positive pixel indicating about the water body i show as a suppose blue color so now just keep on so now i can easily get the ndwi map which in, uh, indicating about that uh, water on the surface so we can get this type of things but it's not you can just keep your interest uh, stressing suppose just click on here okay i'm following okay so, okay so let me check the formula about that what the ndwi formula for landsat eight so this is the okay so you make the mistake in here i think yeah in the formula and set it will be b3 band minus uh, b5 band okay okay b3 minus b5 mainly green minus uh near infrared okay also check the other suppose okay or sentinel to b8 <coughs> minus b12 b8 minus b12 let me check more it's suppose ndwi okay so green band minus i think green okay let me open this paper okay 
Yeah, so now in a green minus in infrared. Sorry, we mistake in here. So this formula green minus in infrared. So that's why our formula will be first of all green band. Okay. So just put here the green band, green band mainly SRB3, and then uh near infrared band, which is SRB5. Okay. So now we can extract the water body as a blue color. We can get it. So let me create again. This is our satellite imagery, and this is the NDVI map. And finally, this is our water body map. We can get this yes. type of the water, and now we can get perfect. And it also more better visualization when you stressing. Suppose just click on here and stressing the data 98%. So now it will be we can get the more better map, uh, blue color identify about the water body. So here you can see yes. now it's more reflected. We can get this type of things and getting about the water pool. Okay. So this is the process just when you want to apply the collection to satellite imagery, you just remember that. Could you, yeah. could, could, could you assist me to, to, to finish the code up to exporting this? Okay. Yes. For exporting, just same as just put here uh, export image to drive and just we are put all of argument one by one. So just make a curly bracket start. And also curly bracket in and further just call the image. So basically, suppose I want to export the uh, suppose one way. Suppose I put the NWI first and then NDVI. I put the description, you can put any name as a description. Suppose I put it say NDWI folder, you can put any folder name. Suppose I put this uh, data or any folder you can easily create. It automatically create in your Google Drive region is a shape file variable name it's a uh, ROI for my study area the scale is the resolution 30 meter others not need to know that it's not needed. so now for that suppose I just copy the same code because I want I also want to export the NDVI map also simply copy the same code and further just paste here just change it suppose I put this NDVI and this given I put it's a NDV, I put the name. So now click the run. So now our tax will be running. So for the tax step, we can easily download this tip format imagery. And further, we can easily make the map using ArcMap or QGIS software. Okay. Thank you very much. Could, okay. could you kindly share that code with me? Okay, okay just. Uh, okay, so I'll share with you just in try. And when you upload your boundary and also try, I hope it will be okay. Yes. If I have that, then I'm sorted. Yeah. And all of other code, which I already show, if you get the collection one, then simply change the image ID and also multiply them. We can easily get this imagery for collection two because now updating their uh, collection will be removed. And we, now we can also use only use for collection two satellite image. Okay, so uh, any question? No, no, it's very clear. Thank you very much. I okay. think uh, with that code, with that okay. code, I should be fine. Okay, okay. I already sent you. Just check it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let me just check. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Stay well. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.